Okay, so Dami is watching Transformers in the other room on the big screen. He's sitting in my chair because I want him to know what it feels like to be the man of the house because I'm thinking, you know, I think once really, you know, because I haven't worked as a father. I mean, I've stayed at home with my son and I'm grateful for that. And uh, LVMPD or the state of Nevada pays me a retirement paycheck. But, you know, I do hope that one day I do hope that one day um, we will acknowledge raising a child as a profession. And I do hope one day that the people who raise children are financially compensated for that, um, for just doing it, for just dedicating, for the dedication and in, in, in doing it. So um, if, if I were a feminist, that's what I would say. I, I wouldn't want to downgrade people and tell them that their profession sucks. I would try to be like, yo, if there's a bunch of women, hypothetically, all these women and this one guy um, want to get paid for raising children, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. But anyways, so I wanted to take you down my dream, just my own fairy tale imaginary world. Um, and hypothetically, I was thinking about this. I post I, I posted a video yesterday ah, where I just kind of like, I was like, well, you know what I would love to do? I love law enforcement, but I feel like my time, I did 10 years on the streets. And now I'm like, well, you know what? I, I kind of like, I'm also acknowledging the fact that my body is not what it used to be. And uh, maybe my place is not, maybe, you know, I enjoyed being an FTO. I enjoyed training. And maybe that's, maybe that's where my place is. And I, I got actually excited for recruiting because I thought to myself, I'm like, well, you know, I want to be home. I just want to be back home. That's just me. Like, I can't speak for anyone else. I speak for myself. I want to be back home. And I enjoyed what I did. I just think that, and that's what's so awesome about law enforcement is you have so many places that you can kind of grow and branch into. And even there's even things that existed when I was a child that don't exist now. For example, I remember they had a the Concours. I believe they had this uh, Corvette that they would take through the track. And I always thought that was really cool. I always thought it was cool that the cops had uh, a drag car. And I remember whenever I would be mad or I would get in a fight with my dad, um, because he had a Porsche, he had a Targa, I think it was like a 72 or 74. Um, <clears throat> but I would always be like, yeah, I'm going to get a Corvette when I grow up. I never really wanted a Corvette. Um, I just wanted to piss off my dad, but that might just be unique to me. <laughs> so I did want to just, my perceptions, I don't have any knowledge on anything. But So these are the two departments that kind of spawned, that sparked my interest. And it wasn't just them, because if I'm honest, you know, I was with friends and, and we got pulled over all over the Bay Area. And um, so those experiences probably weren't the most pleasant, if I'm honest, but I did have a lot of good experiences. And I think the good experiences outweighed the bad experiences. And I think that's what we're failing to do as a society is to document the positive experiences. I know for my department, um, LBMPD, after 90 days, if your video footage isn't needed in court or nothing bad actually happened or there's no one complaining that video footage is deleted but what if those were what if we wanted to save or document all those positive interactions I'm, I'm just saying we haven't been utilizing um, tech I don't feel in law enforcement to the extent where it's really could be used and utilized so I want to believe that the tech capital of the world could show the world also how tech can be used in law enforcement. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of stuff out there that isn't being used, utilized. I know our department, we were testing, like, those pepper spray pepper spray rifles. I'm just saying, or even, like, having drones with uh, drones interlaced with uh, video footage that you can track suspects without a patrol vehicle. Or even, I was thinking, too, you could have set up... I'm a big proponent of pepper spray. I've seen it in action. The only people that pepper spray does not work on is... Uh, you know, Latin American, you know, basically people who eat a lot of hot, spicy food, it doesn't work. But everybody else, it works like a charm. So um, just based on my perception here, I see, you know, San Francisco Police Department has $396 million of an annual budget in 2020. I know Metro, LVMPD, when I retired, I think that was 2018, 2017, the budget was hovering around $300 million. Um, just because I pay attention when when we have our um, reports and stuff. So what I'm saying is, I have I don't know what the numbers are, but 
but just based on just the last day I've been watching video footage and they approximated 2,000 officers for San Francisco Police Department. I know when I... Yes. Thank you, bub. Do you want to grab some food? You want to grab a bar yeah. out of there? Okay, cool. Um, it's my son. He's uh, what? Yes. Here, let me help. Let me help him real fast. The point I wanted to make, here, I'll come back to it, is the budget and just the numbers don't necessarily. The numbers don't necessarily. Granted, I understand you have to pay officers more in, in, in SFPD, but I really feel like we need to get the numbers up. So. Go ahead, bye -bye. Okay, so this is what I'll do. I'm already speculating. I don't want to do. Okay, so. Ah, uh, sorry, it's a morning. I'm um, just waking up, but I want to do this video because I, I like I like talking to myself. Actually, developing the ideas, and if if I record it, it kind of shows you kind of my process and how I I get I I get to the destination that I'm I'm looking for. Or, or even just, I'm not, I don't have a destination I'm looking for. Population, sorry, population of Las Vegas. Okay, so, well, here's the thing. Okay, here, there, there. Well, I know the number, okay, so this is what, who, how many live there, but I know on average it's about 2 million people that flow through Las Vegas. So let's look at the population. I think San Francisco, so that's the problem. Um, so what was this? This was 600,000 population of San Francisco. Okay. Okay, so they're about the same. You know what? I would probably venture to say that um, San Francisco and Las Vegas have very similar. So they, the city of San Francisco has 874,000 residents. The city of Las Vegas has 634, so they're very similar. Actually, Las so San Francisco has more residents. Las Vegas sees on average, granted this is probably five years old information, but about two million people, two million visitors. So, so you're looking at about like 2.5 million. I would estimate that San Francisco probably was about the same. I think it's less transient visitors, or actually I don't know. I don't know. So I'll just I'll put the I'll say the numbers are slightly higher for San Francisco. So. Um, Las Vegas, we have two million. Let's say let's say the numbers are about the same or slightly higher for San Francisco. So the budget is double, which I I think your budget should be. I think you know really I I think six hundred ninety six million. I think your budget should be probably double that. But the thing that scared me or that concerns me is you said there's two thousand commission officers. I know that LVMPD we had roughly I think five thousand nine hundred and. 87, I think last time, well, this was like a while when I retired, I had access to uh, a department computer, but I think I want to say, f I could be completely off, it could be 4,000 something, but it was roughly 5,000 commissioned officers, I think 2,000 something sergeants. Um, so I just think the numbers are concerning. I think, honestly, I think we should, as a person who wants to move back to the Bay Area, and as someone who's a retired police officer, I'm concerned, and I think the the success will come from the recruitment of more officers. I think really, if F, if F, ah, can't talk, from my ignorance, it appears that SFPD probably needs to double their numbers just to really just be able to do the bare minimum. And here's what people don't understand is, if tomorrow you hire 500 officers, it will be a year and a half until those officers are prepared to hit the streets by themselves because you have six years in an academy, six years of field training, and then six, ah, excuse me, six months of the academy. Oh, sorry, I don't know how California is, but I know here in Nevada you have six months in the academy, six months in field training, and then six months on like your probationary period where you're, you're trying to like literally figure out what, what, what you're doing. Um, so it's like a year and a half until you actually have so if you commission these officers today, you swear them in today, it'll be a year and a half until you have those hypothetical 500 officers. I'm just saying, I think we need to get started soon. I think we need to recruit. I think at the very minimum, uh, 500 officers should be the goal. 
And really, I think as someone who grew up in the Bay Area, I think we should have our goal be to recruit more women. I think 50% of the population is women. I think 50% of law enforcement organizations should be women. And, and that should be on the patrol level. I really believe that. I, I think there should be more emphasis. I don't know what your cybercrime or your, um, your uh, internet security um, detail I don't know how many people you have on that, but I think that also needs to be expanded. I know a lot of departments were expanding that when I left. You know, I think you do need a lot of people on the internet just keeping track of people. And then and then all and then also like because it's Silicon Valley, I mean you have artificial intelligence. I'm saying like there's all these positive things and all these things that could be utilized. And then at, like why not create an app? Like all I'm saying is like there's so much, there's so many brilliant people in the Bay Area, in the tech community that have been there forever, that have just been waiting to just be creative in a way that's positive and that helps the community. And not everyone has to carry a gun and patrol the streets. There's a certain type of person that does that, but I think there's all these support units that really make that job far easier. So. I'm really excited to come home. I'm really excited to meet Bridget Carey. I'm really excited. Sorry, I had a crush on you forever, it feels like. But um, no, I'm more excited to come home and just share. Like if someone tells me, look, you're wrong, I please tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that you have more life experience and that you've seen more and that you've, you know more and you've done more. And then I will learn from you. I will gladly learn. I will gladly learn from someone who's half my age. I really will. Thank you. I love you. I'm going to listen to this. If it sucks, I'm going to post it. Have a blessed day.